What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles. Not ranked, competitive Coliseum, BGC, whatever you want to call it. Double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're looking to have some fun with it. We're rocking out with a Life Orb Rampardo team that also features one of the coolest starters for Alligator. You guys know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. we got tons of new content coming along the way. I'm about to upload my first strikers video plan on doing a nuzlocke for the summer and then we got pokemon scarlet and violet coming out very very soon so like i said consider subscribing but let's get started here with today's team preview rocking out with the one and only rampart of such a cool fossil pokemon i absolutely love him and he hits like a truck he's rock typing with the life orb as his item his ability is going to be sheer force which removes additional effects but boosts his damage so moves like rock slide right here has no chance of flinching but is going to do more damage Moveset's going to be Rock Slide, EQ, Head Smash for massive amount of damage, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on the squad, we're rocking with the Vileplume over here. We got Energy Ball, we got Sludge Bomb, we got Protect, and After You. I usually like to roll Sleep Powder on this thing, but I made this thing just all about special attack. And it has the After You to make solar Pokemon like Torkoal go first, and we can do a bunch of more different stuff with it. We're rocking the Chlorophyll ability, doubled Speed in the Sun, and then last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Focus Ash. Next Pokemon is going to be our Choice Specs Tor Torkoal. He's going to pair super well with the Vileplume because it makes the Vileplume go crazy fast. And plus, like I said, the Vileplume has after you, so it can, we can use after you onto this Torkoal, making this slow boy go really fast and just absolutely dump it on Pokemon. We have the Choice Specs as its item, Drought as its ability, and then we're rocking out with Eruption, Heat Wave, Hyper Beam, and Solar Beam for this crazy Choice Specs moveset. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Cresselia. Cresselia is just an absolute bulk and a great Trick Room setter as well. We got Psychic, we got Ice Beam for coverage, Calm Mind, and Trick Room for the move set, rocking the Levitate ability, and then this item that is holding is going to be the Leftovers to give it HP at the end of every single turn. Fifth Pokemon on the squad, we're getting into our big physical attackers over here. We're rocking for Alligator. Citrus Berry alongside with the Sheer Force ability. Yeah, it's rocking the same ability as Rampartus, which is absolutely amazing. And then the moveset it is rocking is going to be Waterfall, Ice Punch, Swords Dance to set up, and then Protect. I probably should have gave this Pokemon Dragon Dance over Swords Dance, but Swords Dance works solid. It does. It does work solid, but I do like Dragon Dance a little bit better just for that extra uh, speed boost. Final Pokemon on the squad is another great physical attacker. Probably one of the best in BDSP. It is going to be Garchomp with its normal moveset of Dragon Call, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect. Rocking the Rough Skin ability because, you know, there's no Sand Stream, so might as well not use Sand Bell. And last but not least, the item it is going to be holding is that Yachi Berry, so it can soak up at least one Ice move. Guys, there's the team. Look at it. Check it out. It's looking strong. Let's hop into the Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a cool Nido King team with Gardevoir, Illuminize. That is that how you pronounce it? I think so. But that little bug fairy Pokemon looking thing up in the top. And then he's got Houndor, Prankster Murkrow, which you gotta watch out for for that Tailwind setup. And then he's also rocking Miss Magius as his final Pokemon. So I could pop into like a a, a Trick Room Pokemon, like Cresselia, but I think I'd just go into lead like Torkoal Volbloom could be pretty solid. And then bring Cress in the back. We could do that. Torkoal Volbloom is looking mighty fine right now. Mighty fine is, 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 is it's looking. But then we gotta watch out for Houndoom as well, because Houndoom's looking a little tough. I could go for Alligator as a lead. I could go Rampartos here. Rampartos is not too bad with the Rock Slides. I mean, kind of get ripping with that. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm kind of leaning maybe like a for Alligator Rampartos kind of lead. Just going all hyper offensive here and trying to rip through. Could definitely be good. Could definitely be good. Or we can uh, try to pop a Trick Room if he wants to pop a Tailwind. And we can kind of go, go from there. So I could go Crash Rampartos. I don't think it would be bad. Pardos does do some work. So let's go Crest Ram Pardos. Let's bring for Alligator in the back end. And then final Pokemon, do we go Guard Chomp? I could go Chomp or I could go Torkoal. Because I'm kind of looking to pop a Trick Room here. Yeah, I'm going to go Torkoal in the back end. Because if I can pop that Trick Room, get Torkoal out there. Yo, it's GG. Yo. Torkoal rips. Especially with the choice specs. God dang, that Pokemon could do a ridiculous amount of damage. But he's going to end up leading Murkrow and Nido King. I'm pretty cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. I can definitely see a Tailwind poking out here. Um, I kind of just want to go into a nice lovely Trick Room here and drop a Rock Slide. I think it's going to be my play all day. Trick Room Rock Slide? Yeah, pop the Trick Room. Let's run it. Lovely little Trick Room. I could go for a Head Smash. This is a ridiculous move. It, do it does half of our damage, but still. I could drop an EQ as well. EQ wouldn't be bad, but I think Rock Slide's going to be your play. Just to chip up some damage onto the Murkrow. And probably bring it down to Focus Ash, right? He's going to go straight for an Earth Power. So he's not going to kill him. And he's going to dump on my Rampart. It's like Wow, that, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts the soul. That kind of hurts the soul. What's, what's Mercury going for? He's going to whirlwind. Yo, what a play. What a play. What a play. I'll give it to him all day. Give it to him all day. What a play. He whirlwinds me. How dare you? He whirlwinds me. Wow, what a smart play. I could go back into Crest here. 
I don't want to go back into the crest. I'm going to go back into the crest. Crest, you're coming back out here. What a play. World winning me. Leave me alone. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. I'm going to waterfall over on this thing. I'm going to try to pop it on the trick room. Leave me alone. <laughs> World winning me. I'm going to need this trick room if we're going to do anything. Yo, that Sheer Force Neo King is doing some work. He's definitely doing some work. He is definitely doing some work. Yo, look at that big old boy. Yo, I love Needle King. It looks like Feraligator, but a little cool. Not gonna lie. Maybe because it's shiny. I just like how it looks. It looks more like a dinosaur than an alligator. And that dude, he's looking so sick. The Gen 1 has some absolute banger designs. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Is he gonna whirlwind to me again? I hope not, because I'm gonna need my Torkoal to come out here and get ripping. Torkoal's gonna have to be MVP. <laughs> like, Torkoal's gonna be, have, have to be MVP. We do have Feralgator. Feralgator should be able to rip up and do some big damage onto that uh, Nido King. So, Waterfall does come out here, poke through, and we take out Nido King, no problem. So, that's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn. And what's Merkur going for? Is he going for another Whirlwind? Yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. Dang. Dang, Merkur over here. Brings out my Torx. <laughs> Here's my Torx. We're dragged out. We're going to set this drought, which eh, does me all right. Does me a little weird. I mean, Crest could definitely be a bulk for back-end support, but we'll see. We shall see. But that was, this, this Murkrow is definitely MVP on his side. Because if he didn't have that, we could just be able to roll out pretty strong here. And I mean, from here, you know, I can just rock out with a uh, an Ice Punch into you. And just Heat Wave across the board, right? If we just do a Heat Wave, probably your best bet. If he's going to hit me, he's going to do deal damage, so Eruption's not going to do as much. So, yo, Choice Spec Twirkle? So it might be fine here. Because again, Mercury's not going to be able to hit too hard unless he just whirlwinds me out, which he could do, but we're still going to be chipping off some damage. Let's see what he does. So Maggie's going to be for power damage. So that's going to do some nice damage on me and bring him down to 38. What's Torkoal going for? Or not Torkoal. What's uh, Mercury going for? If we can get off this uh, we can get off this one heat wave, that could be lovely. We bring that thing down to Sash. Yeah, wow, that thing's rocking power damage. That is pretty cool. And foul place can come through here. That's going to take me out, isn't it? That's going to take me out. Wow, dude, Torkoal getting ripped. All I wanted was heat. But still, not bad here. Not too bad. I can bring out Crest now. I mean, Crest can do some work. The only thing that does me dirty now is this Drought. This Drought is making my Waterfall not do as much damage. But, um, hmm. We could definitely go for an Ice Punch. I'm thinking it's just going straight into, like, a, a Psychic into the Bismagius. But I think we'll do more damage. Probably my, uh, I might Ice Punch into you. And then maybe just a uh, Psychic into the slot. Actually, no, it's no effect. Uh, let's go Ice Beam. Could pop the Trick Room. I mean, Bismagius is the fastest on the field. I probably should have popped the Trick Room. Maybe I can do it next turn by protecting, but I gotta get rid of this Murkrow. I mean, you can't roll with it. Could be solid. That could be solid. Let's see what he does. You can go for a Thunderbolt. Wow, dude, this thing's rocking some crazy coverage moves. Brings me down to 18. Luckily, I am rocking a lovely little Citrus Berry. Helps me out a little bit, gives me a bit more HP. But Murkrow might be able to take me out, which is kind of scary. Let's see how this one plays out here. Ice Punch gonna fly through here. Maybe I should double down into that, into that guy right there. He's just gonna go for a path play. Can we eat that? He's going after. Cresselia. Okay, so he goes after Crest. I'm kinda cool with that. Gets a crit. God dang, dude. This Murkrow. Why is this Murkrow doing so much work? Finally, we get rid of him. We're gonna get ripping. And we're gonna get after it. So, I mean, from here, I could pop a Trick Room. I think it's gonna have to be my play, right? Protect, pop a Trick Room. That might have to be my play. I think now's time to get off Trick Room. But who's this final Pokemon gonna be? It's gonna be Hound Dude. Be Houndoom over here. Houndoom is looking a little scary here. I'm not gonna lie. Houndoom is looking a little scary, but I gotta protect the guy to get off Trick Room. It's like my only way of winning this battle. It's my only way of winning this this battle right here. Houndoom might be faster than for Alligator, too. We know Miss Magius is, but I'm gonna, just gonna protect the Gator. Let's say Ayo, let's pop this shield. Let's try to pop off Trick Room. See if we can get this off. Miss Magius is gonna use Thunderbolt. We do block it. What's Houndoom going for? Maybe a Dark Pulse? Something along those lines in the Crest? Let's see. Crest, I need you to eat this. I need you to eat this, Crest. Crest does not eat. He gets absolutely ripped. Absolutely ripped. And that's pretty much going to be GG. It's going to be GG. I don't like that. Thunderbolt's going to take me out. We're going to start off 0-1. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to run this battle. That's GG, Joe. That Murkrow definitely did me dirty. Definitely did me dirty. That god dang Murkrow did me so dirty with the double whirlwinds. But hey, our opponent wanted a rematch, so I'm going to rock out with it. And I'm going to redeem myself for battle number one. But we're hopping into our second battle. Same team, same opponent. Let's get ripping. I'm going to go Torque Oval. We're going to get lasering with these guys, bring them in there, and get rocking out with them. And then in the back end, I could go Garchomp. I want to go all hyper offensive. Ramparters, come on down. We need you again. We need you again. Even though you got ripped that first turn, he can do a lot of work. And then final Pokemon, I'm leaning towards the Garchomp, but do we think he's going to rock Gardevoir in the back end? 
Guard Trap can be super nice. The only problem would be the Guard War, right? So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards, like, for Alligator. I don't lean towards for Alligator. For Alligator doesn't do too bad. It can eat up a Thunderbolt. It can rip up some big damage. I do like for Alligator here. But the only problem is going to be the Drought. So I'm just going to go Guard Trap here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And like I said, I want to redeem myself for that first battle. I want to redeem myself for that first battle. Because it actually wasn't, like, me that kind of, like, lost this battle. Our opponent just made some great moves with a Murkrow, dude. Murkrow did get a crit on me. Did double down on my Torkoal at the right time. It was a little rough, but still. Still, still, still. And then his Houndoom was able to, to absolutely slap up one of my Cresselia. If Cresselia could have bulked that shot out, Trick Room would have been beautiful. We would have been sitting pretty. Could have taken out Miss Magius and kind of just rolled out with uh, with that battle from there. Let's see what we'll see. We shall see how this, one, this person goes with this one. But at this point, I have Chlorophyll Venusaur. Or not Chlorophyll Venusaur, uh, Chlorophyll Bioplume. I can just after you a lot of these shots. He's going to go in with these two, and I love this turn. I love it. Oh no, I'm gonna erupt. What am I talking about? Heat wave. It's a free eruption. It's a free eruption turn. Now, this is the combo, guys. This right here. This is the combo. Right here. Right here. This is the combo right here. After you eruption, just hand us the victory. Just give us the victory. This battle's over. This battle's over with. <laughs> I mean, he might have Houndoom, but who, uh, who I know it learns Flash Fire. Let's learn Flash Fire. So that'll be a good swap, but. I'll see what he wants to do a lot with those with this turn. Because he knows he's sitting here a little stuck. He's sitting here, he's like, what is going on? He's rocking Torko and Bile Plume. And he's probably sitting here like, hopefully this guy doesn't have after you. After you choice spec Torkoal. It's a problem. It's a problem. Look at this little turtle. He's ready to just murk on people. Like I said, I have to redeem myself, so we have to just absolutely oh. <laughs> Let's see who this guy goes into. Let's see who he gets ripping with. Let's see this dude's play. Gardevoir and I can't I can't pronounce that Pokemon and Bug Fairy Pokemon Gen Three Bug. Look at that little thing. It's Bull. It's Bull Beat's best friend. <laughs> That's what I should call it. He's gonna end up going for Fake Tears. He's just gonna shut up Fake Tears, me. That's fine. Your prankster. We get it. Too bad all you guys are dead. How are you going before me? How are you going before me? How you outspeed me? That thing's gotta be Choice. Sp thing's Choice Scarfed. I think it's Choice Scarf from Outspeed My Bile Plume. That is ugly. That is real ugly. I've never seen anything uglier. I have never seen anything uglier. I was just hyping it up the whole time. And this thing's Choice Scarf and, and ruins ruins everything I was talking about. Dude, what is your Speed Bile Plume? You gotta be cooking right now. You are 204. You are 204 with the chlorophyll. And that thing, oh dude, that thing's just choice and just doing you dirty. All right, Sludge Bomb it is. Sludge Bomb into a rock slide. Run it. Run it. Run it, run it, run it. All right, dang, we gotta get rid of this guard. We gotta get rid of this guard so my guard trap can come in here and thrive. Ah, dang, yo, choice. Choice scarf Pokemon over there. Do me so dirty. Do me, oh my God, so dirty. That's ugly, that is ugly is what it is. That's real ugly. That is real ugly. Let's see what our opponent goes into here. He's making some great plays. Great plays is, is an understatement. But yeah, I just I just wasn't expecting that thing to be choice. He's gonna charm me. That's fine. You can charm me up. That's fine. What are you gonna go into with uh Gardevoir? Maybe another psychic here? I'm gonna go into another psychic. Is that in the Rampartos? No, it's gonna be in the Bob Plume. And Bob Plume soaks with that focus ash. The lovely little focus ash broken out from here. He gets a crit too. Get out of my face with all this luck. Get out of my face. So we're gonna we should be able to take out Gardevoir no problem here. So this could be a big turn for us. It charm us too, and I, I have to get rid of this uh Elamize. Do have to get rid of it. So Sludge Bomb's gonna be able to take you out. I should have went for a head smash because I could have done some ridiculous damage, but now we're charmed. It's just gonna charm my guard charm probably soon too. Oxide's gonna poke here. And wow, awesome. My boy. Rampart is still ripping through a charm. Through a charm and no crit. I love it. I love it. That's a big old damage. That's a big old damage. Vileplume still should be fast as a, well now should be fast on the field because there's no way anybody else speeds him. He's gonna go into a Houndoom here. And I'm kinda cool with that. I can rock slide it. Maybe King's gonna poke here as well. Um, okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. At this point, I just think I head smash, right? I have to do some ridiculous amount of damage. You just energy ball here. And then just head smash across the board. Or do I rock slide it? No, we're just gonna head smash. We're gonna try to just absolutely dump on this thing. We know Nido King is sheer force, which is a little scary, but if I get rid of one Pokemon here, this could be solid for me. 
but it is tough because we know that that uh that rampardos right there well, not the rampardos we know that the needle king outspeeds the rampardos so uh, he might pick up a double kill but then i should be able to bring out guard and maybe just eq freely and win this battle we shall see dude he ruined my whole torquil combo he ruined my whole tor torquil combo but energy ball is gonna poke here chipping up some damage on that thing beautiful that's some nice damage that's lovely damage dark pulse gonna fly through here that is gonna take out bob Bloom, and then i think he just goes straight for this, uh, straight for this what's it called and after you probably should have been to play he's gonna go for earth power earth power is gonna take it. yep go on yeah go on okay so we dealt with that in the last battle but i still feel like we're sitting in such a good spot like i bring out guard chomp here i can eq freely eq should just be able to absolutely rip onto that uh that houndoom alongside it would take it out that Nidu king already took damage but i probably should have played that one a little smarter knowing that the uh the houndoom would go down to a head smash i probably should have after you and taken out the houndoom right that does sound good but i still th i still think we're fine because then it could have turned into a 1v1 situation but eq should freely be able to just absolutely slap up on these pokemon Maybe it might not take out the Houndoom, but it's definitely going to take out the Nidoking. And this guy just cancels battle regardless. The online Coliseum is working definitely a little weird today. We got the same opponent three times in a row, but it's all good. He actually switched his team, and we are sitting at one-on-one, -on -one, so this will be the deciding factor for today's video. But he's rocking with a cool Angry Point Tauros team with Frost Lance, Lucario Weavile, who is looking pretty good. Weavile is looking like a strong lead alongside with Gyarados and him on top for two Intimidate Pokemon. I mean, he's probably definitely going to lead the Weavile if I had to guess it right. So I could go on the crest and maybe try to pop a trick room, but then he could just like kind of get after my crest that way. But I could go crest and Torkoal, which could be a solid turn. Crest and Torkoal is looking really good. I'm really digging that because like if he doesn't lead that Gyarados, he can't really want that. I'm going to go in with them two, try to pop a trick room, bring Rampardos in the back end, and then last but not least, do we bring Frowlgator or do we bring Garchomp? Hmm. That's my player. I think we're going to bring Frowlgator. I'm just going to bring the Gator. You guys seen plenty of Garchomp. We're going to rock out with this one. We're gonna look to grab ourselves some moves. This so let's see who he actually goes into here. Let's see who he goes into. We go Lucario and Weavile. So Lucario and Weavile do poke out here. I mean, he can fake me out. The problem is, who is he gonna fake out? So I'm coming in hot. I'm dropping a heat wave. I'm dropping a heat wave and I'm gonna drop, pop a trick room. So it's either you let the trick room get off or you let this devastating heat wave come off, right? Looking pretty solid for us. Trick room into a heat wave. He might think we're protected, but we're not. Super effective on the boat. Heat wave can do a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's see this dude's play. So now we're posing two threats on the field. He now now we're sitting here just like, dude, do you let me get off this trick room? Or are you gonna let me get off this heat wave? <laughs> I do like this lead. I do like this lead for us. I love it. I love it. So let's see. What's he gonna do? He's definitely gonna he's gonna fake out one of them. Maybe he thinks I'm protecting Turkle, so he might double down the crest. Definitely an option. It's definitely an option. This guy's weighing out his options. This opponent is actually pretty solid. He's pretty solid. He makes he makes good turns and he thinks his turns through too. But we'll see how this one plays. We shall see. Yeah, I like what we're saying. It's either trick room or right? there's no way around it. We might have to hard swap onto his Pokemon. We thought it might be Sash, which could be solid for him. So if we can get off trick room, then we just take speed from him. So if he doesn't because of, here we go. Let's just see what he does. He's gonna fake out my crest. If he fix out my crest, that's totally fine. And then he's just going to go into a drain punch into my Torkoal. Torkoal's going to be able to soak. That's totally fine. But still, Heat Wave is out and about here. So hopefully it's connects on the both, right? Let's see. Heat Wave coming in hot. It does connect on both. Takes out Lucario, no problem. And Weavile goes down the Sash. Love it. I love it. That's a solid turn, bro. That's why I love this turn. Now, we're sitting here with Torkoal again. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. Pop a Heat Wave. Pop a Trick Room. Not dealing with this. It actually depends who he brings out here. If he does, if he brings out a slower mon, I might not even pop a trick room. I might just uh, take out the Weavile. Two better calls. It really, again, it, it really depends who he goes into. He goes into like a slower mon. Actually, maybe because I do have Rampardos in the back who I need speed for Rampardos. It's, it's like medium speed. There's a lot of Pokemon in this format that has Rampardos, but if Rampardos can just get turn one. He's so strong. He's definitely super strong. But yeah, solid turn for us. It was either Trick Room or Heat Wave, and we made a great call by going into that lead. Because I knew he was going to go into Weavile, but then the other problem would be like, I was just like, he's going to go into Weavile, he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. So I had to post two threats on each side. And then I, I didn't really care who he went into on that second one. The only one would have been 
uh, him on top, but I doubt he would go two fake out Pokemon <laughs> in terms. So the Lucario was a solid, uh, solid Pokemon for that. Oh, he does have him on top though. <laughs> He's rocking two fake out Mons. Him on top's here for the Intimidate. This is fine. We're special attackers. He's ready for the fake out again. Okay. So and this is, just, I'm just going same turn. It's just an easy same turn kind of play, right? This is an easy same turn kind of play. Heat Wave into Trick Room. It's, it's just an easy play, right? You're going to have to fake out one of my Mons. You're gonna, you definitely gotta fake out the, the Torkoal. He's 100% gotta fake out Torkoal because he knows that that, uh, that that Weavile cannot take out my Torkoal. Him on top is the only Pokemon that can take out my Torkoal with a close combat. Maybe not. I might not even be able to do it. So, but let's see. He's gonna fake out. No, he fakes out the Crest again. Wow. Who's in with the fake outs? And he's gonna go for a third shot. He's doubling down into my Crest. He's letting my Torkoal have some fun with this one. He's letting my Torkoal have some fun with this one. Heat Wave comes through. Weavile gone. Him on top taking some damage that i'm very cool with that very cool with that still the rampardos in the back end he is going to munch down on i think he just close combat shall see we shall see dude i'm surprised he doubled down the crest there this is surprising that is a surprising little turn there definitely a surprising little turn but chris crest is bulking out here grabbing some leftovers you know getting some more hp love it we love it he's gonna send out garrett for the final mon and i'm cool with that i have rampardos in the back I can pop, I, it, like, dude, if I can pop Trick Room here, it'll be a huge turn for us. I'm trying to pop for a little bit now. We're trying to pop it for for a little bit. A little bit now. A little bit of biddle. But yeah, Trick Room gonna come out here. We're gonna go for it, and uh, Heat Wave is just gonna fly from us. Choice into it. We are choiced. Might be able to get some burns too. We've just been trying to get off this Trick Room. Garrett is probably gonna take me out. No, he's gonna wide guard. Smart will play. Can you take out my Torkoal, please? Can you take out my Torkoal instead of Crest? Go after Torkoal. Goes after Crest. Can you eat that? Beautiful. Crest eats it anyway. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So Trick Room's going to come out and about. Thank you, Drow. Actually, the Torkoal just survived. Uh, just helped my Crest. I mean, this thing can wide guard to... What do you want me to do? What do, you, what do you want me to do with that? What do you want me to do with that? I just don't know. I get flinched. I get flinched. So we're doing the same thing again. We're doing the same thing again. That is ridiculous, man. Can't do it. Can't deal with it. He gets a flinch. With a, that's a 10% chance flinch. That did me dirty. That did me dirty. There. I really needed that trick room. That trick room was there. I mean, we can eat up another waterfall. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. I mean, I think he's just going to Y-Guard him. We're, cho we're choice. I'm just going to keep sending him and forcing him to go on y -guards. I don't mind if he blocks him. Because it's totally fine by me. That's definitely fine. That is fine. Gyarados is looking kind of scary here, though. Can one tap my Rampardos, no problem. Can do a lot of work on a lot of different Pokemon. Let's see what he does here. I really need this lovely little trick him out. He needs to trick him out. And my top's gonna sucker punch. That's fine, it's failing. And he's gonna go for a Dragon Dance here. That's totally fine. So we do get off the trick room finally. We do finally get off that trick room. And I think that just puts us in a solid position with this trick room. Because Rampardos is now gonna be slower than both these guys. And uh Heat Wave's missing Pokemon. He missed both? Or who'd it miss? What just happened? It only missed the hit on top. Give me a burn onto the Gyarados. That'd be lovely. No burn. And Trick Room is finally out. He can wide guard again. He can do whatever. I'm just going to go into a heat wave and then pop a psychic to take out that hit on top. No problem. Finally, we get off that Trick Room. He was going for that sucker punch, but we were popping the Trick Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So psychic coming in hot. Heat wave coming in hot. If he wants a wide guard, he can wide guard. That's no problem. But I think we're sitting pretty in this third and final battle. We're not even gonna have to bring out the Rampardos. We're not even gonna have to bring out. This might be a sweep. We might sweep. We might sweep, yo. The drought's doing this good. It's helping up against his Gyarados tremendously. And we forced both his Intimidates to come out here up against both our special attackers. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Yeah, I th this guy definitely. I mean, he did have a chance, I think, up until we popped that trick. Room. I think if he would have doubled down into a crest with like any other moves and just taken it out, then he would have posed a chance. That was his only way, was to waste out this drought and everything. Kind of get after the battle that way. But him on top is going to pop the guard. He's going to block my heat wave. That's totally fine. Like I said, I do not mind him wasting his my guard turns to uh, block my heat wave. So I can just psychic and psychic. Should be able to finish this thing off, right? Psychic's going to get off some big old damage here. Big old damage. Take him out, please. We do not. Eric's going to go for an ice bang. Can that take me out? It's not. <laughs> oh my god. Our sun late finally fades out. And we have a few more turns left in Trick Room. So this guy is he's, he's, he's putting up a fight here. He's putting up a fight. Crest is chilling here with the left there. I'm doing the same thing. I gotta get rid of this him on top. I'm just gonna heat wave across. 
heat wave across the board. Yeah, yeah. Wave coming in hot. Go ahead. Wide guard again. I don't mind because then your hitmon top dies. Then you hit my top. It goes to the dumpster. And then this Gyarados probably going to take out my crest here. And then we just bring out Rampardos. Head smash, head smash, head smash. GG's. Base 150 power. Dude, I would love to end the battle on that. I would love it. End the battle on a head smash. Woo! Woo! Beautiful move. It's a beautiful move. It does half. You take like half health and recoil. Or I think it's half of what you have. It, I believe it's half of what you have. But if you have full HP, you legit just. It's like, whoop. But it don't matter because Rampardos cannot eat up a shot for nothing. His defense it might be the worst in the game. It might be the worst in the game. Like, there are some, like, Pokemon that are not even fully evolved that have uh, better defense than that. And it's weird because he's a giant rock dinosaur. You would think rock Pokemon are just there to bulk out shots. Come on, Top's gonna suck a punch here. And that was smart play. That was smart play. That was smart play, but I still think I still think we're thriving here. He may come in hot. It's not wide guard. So I think I hit my top. Beautiful. So we get rid of the hit on top. It's a beautiful sucker punch play. He's gonna take me out. My Rampardos is coming in here for the head smash. No problem. Waterfall coming in hot. Oh, uh, and later Torkoal. So yeah, wow. Torkoal and Crest were in the battle for so long. So long. I mean, it feels long because I think our opponent is taking a lot of a lot of time on the turns. But now I get to place both of these little boogers, and we get to get ripping. I wish I could see how many trickling turns are left. But I think I'm just gonna go into a head smash and sword dance just in case he wants to protect. Head smash will 100% well, just finish off this battle. Hopefully it doesn't cancel the battle. And hopefully we get that off. Just just to see the battle end like that. But I think our opponent is going to cancel the battle. He does not. Head smash coming in hot. Yes, sir. Finishing off the battle with one of the strongest moves in the game. Head smash comes through there. One, base 150 power. And we take out the Gyarados. And we grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record for BDSP Double Battles. The Rampardo Squad thrived out there. We also had the Vileplume, the Torkoal, Cresselia, Rockator, and Garchomp. I feel like we got to use all these Pokemon. Got to show them off pretty well. So I really do like today's video. And hopefully you guys did enjoy the content. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.